In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on January 20th, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Baylor vs. Texas The College Hoops Saturday excitement kicks off with an intriguing Big 12 basketball clash featuring the number 9 Baylor Bears and the Texas Longhorns. Baylor, fresh off their first conference loss in a nail-biting overtime defeat to Kansas State, where they played as one-and-a-half-point underdogs, is eager to bounce back. Meanwhile, Texas suffered a setback on their home turf against UCF, failing to cover the spread as eight-and-a-half-point favorites. Notably, last season saw these teams split their two matchups, each securing a victory on their home court. In the previous season's encounters, both teams emerged victorious at home, covering the spread. The current season paints a diverse picture, with Texas posting a 5-12 against the spread record, while Baylor boasts a solid 10-5-1 against the spread performance, the second best in the Big 12. Despite Baylor's recent road loss to Kansas State, a formidable opponent, the Bears have displayed resilience. In contrast, the Longhorns have suffered two consecutive defeats as significant favorites, struggling to find their footing in the conference. Texas offensive struggles, averaging a mere 71 points in four games, combined with their ninth-place defensive ranking in the Big 12, present a challenging scenario against Baylor's potent offense, which scored 81 points against number 18 Brigham Young University. In the last 10 meetings, Baylor holds an 8-2 straight up and 7-3 against the spread record against Texas. Adding to Texas concerns, Baylor's high-scoring average of 85 points per game poses a formidable challenge. The Longhorns' defense, marked by recent inconsistencies, is likely to face difficulties containing Baylor's offensive prowess. Anticipating a subpar offensive performance from Texas, the odds favor Baylor to cover the spread as underdogs in the upcoming matchup. Examining trends and analytics, the game's outcome appears less predictable. Baylor has trended under the total in their last four games, while Texas has leaned towards the over in their recent four matchups. Both teams find themselves in the middle of the pack in terms of tempo, with Baylor ranked 214 and Texas 199th out of 362 Division I teams. The crucial matchup in this game unfolds between Baylor's offense, ranked 5th nationally in efficiency, and Texas defense, standing at 64th in efficiency. With Baylor potent offensive capabilities, Texas may need to adopt a faster pace to keep up, leveraging their quick guards in Abmaz and Hunter, who have demonstrated their ability to accelerate play and generate quick scoring opportunities. Last season's clashes between these teams resulted in an average combined score of 150 points per game. In the current season, 17 out of their combined games have surpassed the over. Baylor's formidable offense, boasting excellent shooting, contrasts with Texas' respectable 77 points per game. Notably, both teams have reached the 80-point mark multiple times this season. Despite Baylor's lower tempo ranking, their fifth-place standing in adjusted offense mitigates concerns. Texas, with the 199th tempo and the 47th best offense, is well-equipped to contribute to the scoring. In light of these factors, over the projected total is our full-game total pick. Creighton vs. Seton Hall On the upcoming Saturday, the Big East Conference kicks off its action early with an enticing clash featuring the number 18 Creighton Blue Jays and the Seton Hall Pirates. In their recent outing, Creighton faced a challenging defeat against Connecticut, succumbing to the top-ranked team in the nation with a scoreline of 62-48, despite being six-and-a-half-point underdogs. In contrast, Seton Hall extended their triumphant run in conference play by securing a convincing 80-65 victory over St. John's at home effortlessly covering the half-point spread. Notably, Creighton emerged victorious in both encounters against Seton Hall in the previous season. It is high time to acknowledge Seton Hall for their remarkable performance in the Big East this season. 
Boasting a solid 6-1 to straight-up record, the Pirates have demonstrated excellence on their home court, registering a 9-1 to straight-up record. Conversely, Creighton enters the matchup on the heels of a lopsided loss to Connecticut, where they struggled with turnovers and a meager 34.6% shooting from the field. This defeat contributed to their 5-3 to straight-up record in games played away from home or on neutral sites, revealing a concerning trend for a team with championship aspirations. Seton Hall has showcased their ability to elevate their game against tougher opponents, defeating three ranked teams in their last seven outings. With a five-game winning streak, the Seddon Hall Pirates to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. In terms of playing style, both teams exhibit a deliberate pace, with Creighton relying on Kalkbrenner's presence inside and Seddon Hall leveraging mismatches with Richmond against smaller guards. The statistics support this narrative, as Creighton ranks 263rd and Seddon Hall ranks 286th in pace of play nationally. Recent trends also indicate a tendency towards lower scoring games, with Creighton hitting the under in seven consecutive matchups and Seddon Hall going under in four of their last seven. Expect Seddon Hall to adopt a deliberate approach in this game, recognizing Creighton's superior talent and aiming to control the pace to stay competitive. Creighton's offensive struggles have been evident, failing to surpass the 50-point mark in their recent encounter with Connecticut. Despite being 42nd in offensive efficiency, averaging 115 points per 100 possessions, the Blue Jays play a slower brand of basketball, ranking 263rd in pace nationally with just 66.5 possessions per game. Seton Hall, also favoring a deliberate style, uses only only 66.1 possessions per game. However, they will face Creighton's stout defense, ranked 7th in the nation, allowing only 93.5 points per 100 possessions. Anticipate a classic defensive battle in this Big East clash on Saturday. Embracing the recent trend of Creighton being an under-machine, we recommend following suit in this matchup. Thus, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Marquette vs. St. John's The upcoming Big East clash between the Marquette Golden Eagles and the St. John's Red Storm is set to unfold in Queens, New York this Saturday. Currently, the Golden Eagles boast a season record of 12 wins and 5 losses, with a conference standing of 3 wins and 3 losses. On the other side, the Red Storm holds an overall record of 12-6 this season, with a 4-3 performance in conference play. However, they are facing a challenge having lost their last two games. Looking back at the previous season, these two teams faced off three times, and Marquette emerged victorious in all three instances, including a thrilling 72-70 overtime win in the Big East Tournament. As the current season unfolds, Marquette has a record of 8-8-1 against the spread, while St. John's holds a 10-8 against the spread record. Despite Marquette experiencing some setbacks with three losses in their last six games, all against unranked opponents within the conference, they have recently secured a win early in the week. St. John's, on the other hand, suffered a narrow defeat to number 22 Creighton and faced a significant loss in their most recent game. Notably, both teams suffered recent losses at the hands of Seton Hall, with Marquette losing by 3 and St. John's by 15. Seton Hall may have provided insights on how to counter St. John's key player, and Marquette is expected to capitalize on that strategy. A potential setback for the upcoming game is the absence of Rick Pitino and Jordan Dingle due to positive COVID tests. The repercussions of their absence on the team dynamics remain uncertain, and it is unclear whether they will be available for this crucial matchup. Despite these uncertainties, Marquette has a strong track record of winning away games, and it is anticipated that they will continue this trend. Therefore, the Marquette Golden Eagles to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. In the previous season's three encounters, these teams collectively averaged 171 points per game, with their regular season matchups characterized by high scoring affairs. Although their conference tournament tilt showed a slight tightening of the scoring, both teams still possess offensive capabilities. Marquette's offense has breached the 80-point mark in seven games this season, while St. John's has achieved this feat in 10 games. Notably, both teams fall within the top 75 scoring teams in the country, with Marquette ranked 71st and St. John's at the 65th position. According to Ken Palm's tempo ratings, St. John's is ranked 80th, and Marquette is positioned slightly ahead at 73rd. Both teams exhibit a fast-paced style of play, with Marquette ranked 71st in pace of play and St. John's at 78th. Considering these factors, the expectation is for an intense offensive battle. Over the projected total is our full game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.